Louisiana Beer Reviews, Cigar City Brewings Maduro Brown Ale. It says hints of caramel toffee, chocolate, and espresso. A great food beer. Okay. Not going to be eating any food with it. 5.5% alcohol. It says on here, do not age, drink fresh. Can on Octo October 23rd, 2013. Cheers. This beer is just over one month old, so it's still going to be fresh. Thank you, Mike Peters, for this beer. 25 International Bitterness Units. This beer is brewed in Tampa, Florida. It gets a very good score on Beer Advocate. It gets a 94 out of 100 on Rape Beer, a 98 out of 100 for the style, and an excellent score on the beer in me. I have had this beer exactly no times in my life, but I'm about to have it now. Some people will criticize the brown, air, brown ale style because they say it's dull and it's not too flavorful. Well, it's not a double IPA. It's just, you know, a different type. It's just a more mellow, like I like, I like to repeat myself and say a low profile beer. I remember they used to make the Pelican, which was a mild ale, it's an amber ale. That company went belly up and they made this plantation brown ale and that was very mild. It was at Brasserie de Louisiane in Bro Bridge. And it was very good. This was a 1995 bottle. I started, I was checking these out when I first started drinking, but they were both very mild. Then they make their Beta, Beta Turbo Dog, which is a mild brown ale. Get a medium beige head, and the appearance here is. The lighting is bad because it's, it's raining outside, but uh, let's see. Oh, it's hazy now. Hazy and brown. <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty deep brown color. I don't see any streaming bubbles, but it's because I probably can't see it very well. Let's check it out. It seems sweeter than most brown ales I've tried. Most of them are more roasty. Um, there's not a whole lot of aroma anyway, to be honest. It's just kind of like a faint aroma of water. <laughs> A faint aroma of nothing. Okay, so I can't say the aroma's bad, I just can't say the aroma is. Okay, let's go with the flavor. I hope it has some flavor. It does. Well, quite a bit. Okay. Nice, dark, medium to dark roasted barley malt. It does have the toffee, it does have the coffee, it does have the chocolate. Um, a little chocolate powder in the flavor. A little brown bread crust. Um, the mouthfeel is mostly light and watery. It's not a real, it's not a beer with a whole lot of body and the finish is pretty dry, not super dry, but on the dry side and it is refreshing here at 9, 10 in the morning and the drinkability is very good. <clears throat> I'll give it another pretty decent little thin aroma. Let's go with the, I mean, <laughs> lacing. Let's go with the aroma again. Just not a whole lot there. Maybe a little cherry wood. That's weird. Okay, so this beer does not shine in the aroma. It's not aromatic. But anyway, I'm drinking the beer. I'm not smelling the beer. And as far as the 
flavor now, it's a winner. And I tell so many people, if you like bread, and most people I know like bread, you would like beer. Um, some people would tell me, I don't like the taste of beer, but then you find out they only ever have tasted Miller Light or Bud Light or Coors Light, something like that. And I don't think they're giving it much of a chance. Even when I first started drinking in February 1996, I was hating <laughs> Miller Lite, especially that. <clears throat> and I had to kind of... And, and When I first jumped into the beer hobby, February 96, I went straight into the um, craft beers, like I said, these. And um, a lot of other ones and I, I liked them right off the bat. I liked the breadiness, the sweetness, the, the bitterness and all of that. Now I was into the malt liquors. Um, the one style that I really had to warm up to was the the light beer style. So it's kind of reverse for me. Some people start with light beer and graduate toward craft beer. I started with uh, craft beers and graduated toward the regular ones. Um, the regular light beers, because I was always deep into the uh, American style lagers like Schlitz, Pabst Blue Ribbon, um, Michelob, for instance. This kind of does remind me of the Michelob Dark, but that's a lager, but <clears throat> with the roastiness sort of thing going. I do pick up a little metallic, which is not necessarily good. A little sourness, which I don't mind. Um, This is nice, but it's not, you know, fabulous. I think I did prefer the Michelob. Let me, let me get one of those. Uh, I did prefer the Michelob Classic Dark over this, to tell you the truth. Um, and that was made with adjuncts. Uh, 1999 bottle. No, they had made it as late as 99, but here's an old... Uh, they should have never stopped making this. They tried to get into this craft beer thing with Michelob, and that bombed, and now Michelob is on the death deathbed. <laughs> Not Michelob Ultra, but the regular Michelob, and... I mean, that stuff is just... dying out. It's a shame, but oh well, that's the way it works, I guess. Anyway, I would give this a... I'll give it a B plus. It's very good, but I'm not going to say excellent. It just doesn't have enough aroma. Although it is kind of coming alive now that it's warming. <sighs> Let me retract it a bit. It doesn't have enough initial aroma, but uh, I think it would go, I think it is going to improve as I let it warm and do the do the written beer review on Beer Advocate, Ray Beer, and the Beer and Me. So it's a minimum B+, plus, which that's a good score. So there's no complaints here with it, especially since um, I was given, it was given, well, it was kind of a trade, but it was given to me by Mike Peters, really. And so I appreciate that. And uh, so that's a good beer, Paw Paw. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.